Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Um, I have a fun rock idea for you guys today. I actually filmed myself doing this Merry Christmas rock and my angle was bad and you couldn't see what I was doing. So instead of doing the exact same rock, I'm gonna do the same style in the background because that's more or less what I was trying to show off. Um, I'm just gonna be using a different rock and we're gonna make one that says, let it snow. So a little bit different take as far as which uh, phrase it has, but we're gonna do the same technique. So I've got this rock, it's base coated silver. I had leftover silver paint um, from a project and I base coated just some rocks. Um, silver, you could do this on a, this was on a plain rock. It doesn't need a base coat. Um, I just have this, so that's what I'm gonna use. I've got all of my blues over here, all three sizes of blues. If you do not have paint pens, that is totally fine. Um, you can easily do this um, using three different sized, um, or just two different sized tipped um, paint brushes. Like this one has a very pointy tip. Um, like this one has a, a different size tip. I have also been known to use pencil erasers. You can sharpen those. You do not need pens for this. It's just great for me for these videos because they dry fast. So I'm gonna start by just basing out my layers. Now the way my rock sits, this is actually the front of my rock. So I am gonna grab a little pebble here. So in between, it's facing you guys. I'm just gonna put a blob of blue right here in the middle of my rock. Like so, just like that. And I'm gonna follow that up with a blob of light blue on either side. I'm gonna try not to touch my edge right now, just because I want the colors to actually stay separated. I don't want them blending on this style. So a blob on that side and a blob on this side. And that first layer we're driving, we'll snug them up here in a minute, a little bit closer. But for now, we'll just do that. And we're gonna do white on the outer edge here. And the rest we're gonna leave silver. Same thing, I don't wanna blend into that blue, so I'm just gonna do my blob next to my blue. There's no necessarily rhyme or reason to my blobs here, except you want, when your blobs are done big enough to write whatever you're planning on writing on your rock. Okay, so we've got our white, our light blue, our dark blue, that dark blue edge is starting to dry, so I'm gonna come right back in with my light blue and get it a bit closer. It doesn't actually have to touch because we'll be doing something with that anyway. Sometimes with the lighter colors, you'll need a second coat. Um, they are a little bit more opaque sometimes. As close as we can. Like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing one more time with the white. Like that. And over here like that. All right. So once we have, I forgot which way my rock's at. This way, there we go. So once we have our main colors on, we're gonna get rid of our biggest ones. So that, if you don't have pens, you would just do with your with a paintbrush. Now, um, with a medium-sized tip, um, actually this is called the fine tip, not medium, the, but for you, if you're using a pencil um, eraser or a paintbrush tip, we're gonna start with our darkest color, and we're just gonna dot along um, the edges and kind of make it a lumpy edge. So I'm just gonna kind of circle motion back and forth, leaving some spaces in between along the edge. Like so, just like that. And then we're gonna add a few larger dots outside of it and it's okay to have it carry over to where the lighter color is. 
like so. Just like that, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna work our way across with our light blue. But with the light blue, we have to start um, on the opposite side. So we'll kind of go in between each one of these. Like so. I'll put my finger in that paint. Along the top here and along the white edge. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Just make sure you don't see any of your background color when you're done. It's the main thing you're trying to accomplish here, kind of blending the seams a little bit. And then we're gonna add a few dots of that heading outward. Like so. Try not to touch your wet paint. All right, next we're gonna do our white. Exact same thing, okay? I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. I've gotta do both sides and on the outside edge and then we'll check back. Okay, we're just adding our last dots here on the outside of the white. I did go ahead and put a little bit more second coat of white on there as well. Now we're done with the medium size. Now we're gonna move on to our smallest size. And this is where you're gonna kinda of have to let loose and let go a little bit. Some people have a hard time not thinking about each and every dot. And this is not that time. Start with a very unspecific dotting pattern. Um, start really close to your color and work your way out to the edge, okay? And you're gonna dot, 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 and it's gonna kind of blend some of your bigger dots together with your smaller dots. And you wanna go back and forth along your seams or your color exchanges as well. And you're gonna do it with both colors. It might look kind of silly at first, but I mean it, don't overthink it. Just dot, 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 dot. The biggest thing you wanna do is just make sure that you're dotting and not dashing. So go straight up and down with whatever you're using. Um, the paint pens are great for this because you don't have to dip back and forth, but if you're dipping back and forth, just make sure that you're doing it every few dots. We're just gonna kinda dot around a little bit with this color, and then we're gonna move on to our blue in the same fashion. And you basically wanna get those dots connecting that first layer of bigger dots that you did. So you wanna do your dots between your blob and your first set of dots. We'll go back and add some outer ones, purposeful outer ones, in a second. So again, now with our lighter blue, we're gonna start in on here and we're just gonna dot, dot, dot around. Don't feel free to go back and forth between the dark blue and the light blue. We're kind of transitioning these together without blending them. That's the goal here. So I'm gonna continue to do this and then we'll check back. All right, I'm finishing up my white here. Just need to go down the seam here in between. And we've pretty well got them blended together just from doing that. Now, if you want to stop and take a second and go in with your extra fine, if there's a couple areas you want specific dots, like if you want them to kind of fade out to the side, go ahead, add a few very specific dots. If there's an area where you feel you wanted one more dot in there like so, um, this is the time to do it. If you try to meticulously place them all at the beginning, you'll drive yourself batty. So just go for it full force first without thinking about it, don't hesitate. Then you'll have time to go back in with your extra fine, a few dots at a time and look for those areas where you think, oh, I wish I would have got one more there. Well, now it's the time to do it, okay? Feel free to go in and add those little ones here and there, but you'll see, you just kind of let it go You'll probably like the way your rock turned out pretty well. I like to kind of go in with a nice slower hand and kind of do closer to the edges. And then we're gonna go ahead and write on here. I've been trying to decide if I wanted to do it in silver or white. I 
think I might do it in silver to pull that background out. So I'm not gonna do any fancy, fancy lettering on this one. Um, just wanna do a nice, simple, make sure I've got my rock the right way. See, that's, see, I always check. I want it to sit nicely when it's all said and done. I'll give this one more second to dry. And then we're just gonna do let it snow. So I want snow to be the biggest, so I'm actually gonna write snow first. And I can write, let it around it. Just hoping the silver shows up well enough on the white. So I'm gonna try to maybe keep it in the center here. And not have it go onto the white. Kind of hard to tell with the lights because um, the way the light hits it. But here, let me lift it up for you because it kind of catches the light. You can't see the lettering as well. Let it snow, but it's on there. It actually, looks okay. I had a couple little snowflakes. Um, I have a snowflake tutorial that um, either I have done or will be coming out really soon. Really simple snowflake is a wide X with a dot or a line through it. So I'm just gonna do one of those on each side. White X. There we go. Let it snow. Let it snow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun background. Obviously you can put whatever on your rock that you would like. It can be Christmas themed or winter themed or summer or whatever you choose. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and thank you for checking in. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye now.